Hey guys, Buffering Gaming here. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to learn how you can enter in the giveaway to, for a $35 gift card to your console of choice. Hey guys, Buffering Gaming back bringing you another video today for our weapon conversion series. And today we're going to be covering the new weapon, the Growl 556, and converting it into the SIG SG550 sniper variation. So you can unlock this weapon at level 15 of the Battle Pass. I'm going to show you how to build it, check out the recoil in game, and then see how it performs in game against bots. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So if we back out, we see the final design here for the SIG SG sniper variation for the 550 model. Let's go ahead and we'll strip it down to base and look at how to build it. So again, this is the Growl 556, a new weapon with a Season 2 Battle Pass, and you can unlock this at Tier 15 of the Battle Pass for Season 2. So let's go ahead and we're, first off, we're going to skip on the muzzle. So we're going to do no muzzle for this. We're going to use the attachments elsewhere. Now for the barrel, you want the FSS... 26.4 inch Archangel barrel. So in real life, the 550 Sniper variation has a 650 millimeter barrel or a 25.6. So this is just slightly over the IRL version of the weapon. So we're gonna go ahead and select this one. The pros for this are gonna be damage at range, bullet velocity, and recoil control with the cons being ADS speed and movement speed. And because it is such a long barrel, I believe this is one of the longest barrels you can get in the game on an assault rifle. And uh, your movement speed is going to be heavily impacted as well as your ADS speed. So just keep that in mind when we get into it. You'll be able to see the examples for this. So we'll go ahead and select the Archangel barrel for this. And I believe this is unlocked at rank 36 with the weapon. Now we're going to skip out on laser. We're going to go to optic. So for optic, more so personal preference. But for the sniper variation, we're going to want the variable zoom scope. So this is going to allow us to toggle between the 3 and the 6.1 zoom level. Pros being the zoom level. And we can toggle that magnification level. Cons being ADS speed, and obviously you're going to get a glint on the scope as well. Now for the stock, what we want here is the FSS Blackjack stock. So this is that heavy-duty fixed stock that provides reliable stability while aiming for those long-range engagements. And it's going to also assist in keeping your shots steady while you fire. So we're going to want to go with this one, the pros being aiming stability as well as the cons being aim walking movement speed. But if we're using this as a sniper variation, we really shouldn't be too concerned with that. So we'll go ahead and slap that on there. We're going to skip out on the perk, and we're going to go right to the rear grip. We're going to want the Cronin Sniper Elite grip for this one. So this is going to assist with your pros being aim, aiming stability, and the as well as aim walking steadiness, and the cons being aim walking movement speed. So again, this is going to help with our aiming stability and our aim walking steadiness for holding, those, holding our ADS at long range, especially if you're using this as a sniper variation. It's going to help us with that sway. Go ahead and select that. Now we're going to leave the base ammo. Again, you have 50 or 60 round magazines for 5.56 here. And we're going to go ahead and skip that and go to the underbarrel. And unfortunately, there's no bipod on this one. There was a built-in non-usable bipod on the 5.50 barrel that we used the other day for the Nexus barrel. But again, for this one, there's unfortunately no bipod attachment for this. So we're going to go ahead and just select the Ranger 4 grip. Again, this is going to assist with recoil control as well as aiming stability. The cons being aim walk and movement speed and ADS speed. So again, this is really personal preference if you're going to be using this at full auto or burst firing this, because I'm going to be talking between full auto as well as single fire. But if you're going to be holding this at full auto a little bit, this is definitely going to help you control that recoil. And with the barrel itself and the test we have here, it's going to have very little recoil no matter how you use it. So we'll go ahead and select the Ranger foregrip. And here is our final design for the SIG SG 550 sniper variation. So you can see here, uh, very aesthetically pleasing weapon, and it, it, when we get into the game here, I'll show you the recoil. It, it handles very, very well. It's basically like a laser. There's very little recoil on this thing, so you can also, I would recommend, depending on how you like this, keep in mind your, your movement speed and your ADS speed is very slow, but I would also recommend running something like a a candid sight, so you can flip between the 3.25 and even a red dot, and then also something like the 4 times flip sight as well, which will give you those long-range engagements as well as being able to use it in a close quarter situation or a medium range engagement when you need to. But again, for this particular video, to stay true to the IRL build, we're going to go with the attachment we have here for the SIG SG550 Sniper. So let's go ahead now and get in game and see the how the recoil patterns handle. Okay, now that we're in game with our SIG SG550 Sniper variation, we're going to go ahead and see how the recoil handles on this. So first off, I'm just going to use the standard zoom toggle here and just going to let this rip at full auto and we'll check out the recoil pattern. So you can see it goes straight up with a slight deviation to the right. Now if I try to control it at full auto. So again, very little recoil there. Let's zoom in 
and check it out here if we have a toggle zoom. So very accurate. Now let's go in crouch position and I'm gonna select fire to single fire. And again, we'll use our max zoom so we can see the shots are going. This is not controlling the recoil. You can see they're very accurate, right? So let's try it in prone now. So again, very even tighter spread now when we're in prone. So now let's try to go into prone and fire this at full auto. Select fire back. So very little recoil on the weapon. It handles really well. This barrel, the heavy barrel on this for the Archangel gives you very good control for the recoil along with the range of foregrip that we're using here. You can see the spread is pretty tight. I personally would like would use this in select fire to single unless you're in anything but long range engagements. So with long range engagements, you can use the single shot, anything close, maybe full auto. You'll see me use both here, but basically if we let it rip once more, controlling it. Really not too much bounce there with these shots. So again, very good, very little recoil on this weapon and it actually hits pretty hard. It's about a four shot kill, five depending. But again, depends on where you're gonna hit. So aim for those headshots with that weapon. So again, this is the SIG SG550 Sniper. Let's go ahead now and get in game and see how it handles in game against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our SIG SG550 Sniper variation, let's go ahead and see if we can use this in engagements at sniper ranges, and then we'll check it out how it handles at different ranges as well. So we're gonna start and keep this in full auto, and we're just gonna burst fire this. I'm not gonna mount it, and we'll see how it goes. So you can see, very accurate, not a lot of recoil at all with this weapon, especially we're in crowd, so it's going to be a little bit more accurate than if we were standing. Let's see if we can get them to come to us here. So again, this is the Switzerland sniper variation of the SG-550 that we covered the other day. So this is the Assault Rifle 4 Switzerland Army. And at base, the Grau 556 is the... SIG SG-552. We can make a couple different variations. We covered the 550 on the channel the other day. You can see just using this in full auto handles really well. I'm going to switch to single fire now and we'll see if we can get some semi-auto shots down range and see how the recoil handles. So again, we'll check it out here. I think it's about a four shot kill. So that was two, but I believe he was hurt, obviously. Let's try it again. Here we go. So four to the body at range. And there we hit a we hit a thorax or a headshot there, so he died a little bit sooner. But you can tap fire this very quick. You can see me tap firing very fast on this rifle. And it puts people down hard. There's very little recoil. So this is, in my opinion, the best attachment that you can put on this weapon for a sniper variation. I'm also running our HK, our Union Black HK 433C variant here for our our secondary on slank just because it's such slow movement speed on this that you're not really going to be able to use it um, in any other engagement besides a sniper length. Let's see where this guy is here. There we go. Oh boy. I think they're pretty close to me. Copy. Falcon 301 route, personal radar coverage. Enemy at the compound. So again, this is the Switzerland Army SG-550. It went into service in 1990 through present. Design was in the 1970s through the 80s, and it's been in service through 1980, in 1986. It was uh, in test runs, and then obviously went into service with the Army in 1990 through present. So the most well-known variations of this is the SIG-552 and the 553, which at base... We have the 552 for the Grau 556. Let's see if we can watch out for these guys. I kind of want to get some mount kills. So the uh, the barrel length on this for the 550 sniper is 650 meters or 25.6 inches, which we discussed. Also, 
the let's go ahead and try to move up here. I don't want to sit here the whole time. So I'll run my HK433, which we have on Sling. You can see our movement speed just increased quite a lot. So again, this fires a 556 by 45 NATO cartridge. It's a gas-operated rotating bolt design. Let's see if we can find some. Enemies in the area. Where'd they go? So the muzzle velocity for the 550 sniper is going to be 940 meters per second, or 3,084 feet per second. Oh, we're out of ammo. That's why we want a secondary. So that's why I'm definitely running overkill with this weapon. Because you'll notice the movement speed on the 550 sniper if you're going to try using close engagements, which I've tried to do online a lot, and it just does not handle well. There we go. Changing mag. Better reload this. So let me know what you guys think of this. Have you un have you unlocked the battle pass? The Grab 556. Have you used this yet? I've got just about the same exact build unlocked online, and I've used it quite a bit. I do like it, but again, your movement speed is going to be heavily, heavily hindered by this. So don't expect to run a gun with this particular design. I do love it, though. I think it honestly is one of the most accurate builds in the game so far. Um, the longest barrel of assault rifle we can get. There we go. And then again, we have our 433 on sling. Oh, darn. So again, uh, the feed system for this is 5, 20, or 30 round box mag. Effective range is 100 to 400 meters with a sight adjustment. Obviously, with the sniper variation, it's going to be a little bit longer there. And um, oh, we are one shy of a nuke there. That's unfortunate. That sucks. But let me know what you guys think of this. Again, this is the SIG 550 sniper variation. Let me know if you've unlocked this one yet. Have you played with it? Are you having the battle pass? And what your thoughts are on this? This is definitely, I think, one of my favorite sniper conversions that we've done with an assault rifle by far. I know the, uh, the VKS that we did with the Odin or the S12 is also a very good one, but I think in my mind, this is the most accurate, and it actually hits... Oh, no. It hits pretty hard for a sniper variant of an assault rifle. Not being a base sniper, it really handles very well, much like a DMR that I would expect, and I do like this design quite a bit. So, now let's run with it on... Full auto and just see how it handles even though we have our oh boy this is where the movement speed is gonna hurt you you can see they're just moving so slow Enemy at the construction Target mark. Bring it down. so let me know what you think of this we weapon do you have it unlocked have you used it with this design yet what attachments do you use on it also let me know what you think down below of season two so far are you a fan of it have you uh, unlocked the LWCRI 45 that we used the other day? Be sure to check out that video also. Now for the giveaway instructions, giveaway for this video, I'm going to leave the instructions down below. What you're going to want to do for that giveaway, I'm going to give away two $35 gift cards to your console of choice. So what you want to do for that is tune in and go back to the, be subscribed to the channel. And then you also want to comment on the videos I have below. So you're going to comment on the SIG 550, which is your console of choice, what you like, don't like about season two. You're going to comment on that SIG 550 that we did, as well as the LWCRI, I believe. I might be messing up the acronym there, but the SMG 45 that we did the other day, the other day, the LWRCI, I think it is. Yes, LWRCI. So you're going to comment on that one, and then this one as well. Give me one, any of those three videos will get you into the contest. So again, to be more clear, you need to be subscribed to the channel, and then go back and comment on all of or one of the three videos down below. So being the SIG 550, the LWRCI, and the SIG SG 550 Sniper, which we're doing right here. So I'll leave all those links down below so you can go ahead and do that. And again, you don't need to comment on every single one. I know that's hard, so really just be subscribed and comment on one of them with your console of choice and what you like, don't like about season two so far. What you wanna see going forward, anything like that for communication. Also be sure to check out the links down below in the description for the we have the Discord as well as my Twitter and Instagram down there below. So you can go ahead and check those out if you want to get a hold of me. Those are always some of the best spots to do so. And we have a nice little community going on Discord. So, again, let me know what you think of the SIG SG-550 sniper variation. Again, this is one of my favorite sniper conversions by far. It's very, very accurate. You can tap fire it very fast on semi-auto, and it's still even very accurate on full auto. So let me know down below. Again, this is Buckner Gaming with the SIG SG-550 sniper. Until next time, Buckner Gaming.
out.